Welcome to the third episode of Final Cut vs Premiere vs Premiere. Today you will see results of video render tests that we ran on an older but upgraded 2010 15-inch MacBook Pro. This computer is running OS X Yosemite and Windows 7 64-bit in the bootcamp. As for hardware, this machine has Intel Core i5 dual-core processor, 8GB of DDR3 memory. For storage, we put a 480GB SSD from OCZ. As for graphics, it came with NVIDIA GeForce GT 330M with 512 megabytes of memory and sadly only 48 CUDA cores. Once again, as a render test, we are using 1080p and 4K projects with one minute long footage from Sony a7R2 camera. But let's not waste time and let's have a look at the results. As you can see, the 1080p sample took our computer 14 minutes 4 seconds to render in Final Cut Pro. Once again, there is a little surprise compared to the iMac 2014 we have tested before. We are seeing that Premiere has rendered this project a little bit faster in 11 minutes 46 seconds. Now watch out, the render time in Premiere on Windows 7 was half of render time in Final Cut. It finished after only 7 minutes and 40 seconds. I would say these are shocking results, but I will not, because we have seen this in our test with the Dell Vostra Hackintosh. If you want to see a video where we test the Hackintosh, click here. Did you click it? Okay, let's move on. We continued with our 4K sample and we are seeing the same trend. In Final Cut it took 40 minutes. In Premiere on macOS it took 30 minutes, which is again a bit faster. In Premiere Pro on Windows 7, again, significant difference when it finished in 22 minutes. At this point, I think we can make a safe conclusion. On older computers, you get the fastest rendering in Premiere CC 2015 running on Windows 7. Another shocking thing about all this is that you would expect Premiere on macOS and on Windows perform about the same, which is definitely not the case. We are really not sure what the reason for this is. The only logical one that I see is that Premiere Pro CC 2015 is optimized better for Windows rather than macOS. We wanted to get a confirmation that this is a known fact, so we reached out to Adobe. We knew that most probably will not get this confirmation from Adobe because it would basically mean admitting they have screwed up. But we still reached out to their support and contacted them on Premiere's Facebook page. From the Facebook page, we never received any reply and the support employee replied to us. Sorry, but Bootcamp platform is not tested and supported and it may not be optimized, you may get variable performance on different boot camps. Let us know in the comments below what do you think about these statements. Just maybe, if there is more of us complaining about this, Adobe will take an action. Alrighty, if you hated this video, you know what to do, but if you found it useful, hit that like button or even subscribe for future episodes. May the video editing patience be with you.